Hey guys, welcome to my workshop. In today's video, I want to show you how I built this really simple caulk holder. So stick around. Now before we get into this project, it's pretty evident and clear to you already that the design that I drew here is actually different than the design I ended up with. I wanted to be able to fit more caulk into this holder because if I was going through all this effort to make it, I might as well make it hold more than just five. So all I'm doing is laying it out and these ended up being about three inches apart and the holes were actually two inches. I used a two hole, two inch hole saw to cut each hole and it fit perfectly gave me enough space to make it really easy to slip these in and out and they don't move around a whole lot and in between each hole being that I put them three inches apart from the center ended up being about three quarters of an inch in between each hole. So I started drilling these out using my drill press and quickly found it just took too long. So then I switched to using a power drill that had no trouble going through these. Now I staggered these holes apart in this manner to get as much usage out of this board as possible without having as much waste. So I ended up with a little strip left over that I could use in some other project. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut it down to the width that I wanted this board to be. Now the corners are awful sharp, so I didn't want to walk by and get poked in the side with one of these corners. So just used one of the cutoffs from the hole and made a little cut edge around it to give it a nice round over. So once the major part of the cutting was done, I wanted to give these a round over using my palm router. And this is just a quarter inch over round over. It gives it just a nice clean edge. It makes it easier to slide the caulk tubes in and out of these holes. I'm just tracing it again because what I want to do is create a bottom to this. I want the bottom to cover each hole, so the easiest way to do that is just to make a copy of the top with some little less things that don't have the holes, and I cut these corners off just because I didn't want as much sitting below. After determining the height, I actually found a board in my shop that was pretty close to it, so I just went ahead and used it. All about using scrap lumber that I've got laying around. This piece of wood was actually part of a door trim molding and um, I just saved it as you can see there's some nail holes in it but it's a shop thing so I'm not too overly concerned about how this thing looks if you are concerned and you're putting this in a shop that's really nice I would recommend just continuing to use some plywood this whole project is done with just scrap wood this is a three-quarter inch piece of wood everything else is half inch plywood The next step is to just attach them together with some glue and some air nails. You can use screws. In fact, I just built one for a work van that I do a lot of work out of, and I just use screws for that. So everything's all done. Now I'm going to use some torque screws to attach it to the wall and make sure it's level. And then fill up each hole with the caulk that I already have in the shop.
So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you maybe um, would like to build this thing. If you are going to build this thing, let me know in the comments below. But if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing so you can see more future videos like this. And once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.